Hello and welcome on a clear night here at the Amex Stadium. Great to have you with us. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, it's a 4-4-2 with a midfield diamond. And key to this shape will be the players either side of that diamond. When in possession, they'll go wider to give the team width. When they're defending, they'll tuck back in. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Matteo Kovacic in central midfield. As for the strike duo, Romelu Lukaku plays alongside Christian Pulisic. Thank you for attending today's game at the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the match. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Oh, good vision. Thwarting him. Kovacic. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, we know he's a good all. Gives it a go! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Not the best clearance, and fine goalkeeping. Marcus Alonso, and by a wafer-thin margin, offside. Lukaku, Pulisic, not the best challenge, free kick. This to open the scoring here. Oh, denied by the post. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They're showing good defensive judgment. Crossing possibilities. Alonso. Kovacic. Ziyech. In it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now... Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Goal for 
Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. It comes to nothing in the end. Alexis McAllister. On the ball, Cucurella. And he's in an offside position. N'Golo Conte. Aspili Quesa. Romelu Lukaku now. Ziesch. He could pick out a teammate. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Joel Feldman. Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. What can they do from here? And Pulisic has it. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Marcus Alonso. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Adam Webster. It's Dan Byrne. Cucurella. Dan Byrne. There's a slide draw pass. Trossard. Will he finish? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Played over, plastered away. Decent position. An attack full of promise. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and... Oh, the chance is on, Stuart! And it's gone in here! Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. Their lead extended to two goals. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. 
Well, not the pass he had in mind. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, Romelu Lukaku is having a terrific match for himself out there. A true handful, Stuart. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. N'Golo Conte. Hudson Odoi. Ziesch. Here's Kovacic. He's given us away. Alexis McAllister. Oh, lovely ball. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And then just look at this finish, Derek. He does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Effective challenge. It looks promising. Kovacic. Well read to put an end to that attack. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they get the ball once more. Good looking sequence. Could cross it in here. Well, doing the job defensively that time. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And Kai Havertz, the end product just wasn't there. What a shocking pass, really. Lukaku and Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. again the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and then the finish is fairly simple in the end that's a good goal so the ball is moving again we've been treated to four goals we won the score Trossard. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. This is a for Alex O'Neill. Alex O'Neill. Marcus Alonso. Fine sequence of passes. Conte. And Havertz. What can Chelsea do from this position? Free kick to Chelsea.
substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number nine, Romelu Lukaku. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Timo Werner. Conte. Can he play it in? But nicely executed defensively. They're going for the short one. Pulisic. Werner. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Crossing opportunity. Burn. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And denied by the post. Conte. Kai Havertz, Rudiger, pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Oh, he's given it away. Lalana, well, they're sitting ever deeper. Mope, onto Trossard, well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Mopé. Oh, showing excellent vision. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Time it is here. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it still could be dangerous. And in the end, no damage done. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Ziyech. Really a very poor ball. Pulisic. Havertz. Now Conte. And Havertz. Conte. Fruitful looking attack. And now Havertz. Save, but still a chance. And there goes the final whistle. Not to be for Brighton in terms of the result. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. Well, he is such a difficult player to contain, Hakim Ziyech. What did you make of what he put into the match? Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.